We're going to try and get the clicker working. Yeah. Okay. We just wanted to make Chris do the dance. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the little things that we Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know I did not bring the snow from Buffalo, so uh, we're happy about that. Center button. So, we, my primary area of focus is the Buffalo Niagara region. Uh, we are a four hospital system uh, spread across the entire Buffalo Niagara region. Uh, we have a whole gamut of services, nursing homes, primary care centers, uh, blood draw stations. So we're a full system, or a full service uh, hospital uh, organization. Like all of you, we have challenges. Uh, in our technology, in our desire to provide the best possible patient care. In terms of our code paging, we had some pretty outdated technology that was prone to failure. That was our driving force in looking for a new solution uh, to provide this critical messaging solution. Um, our operators, uh, let's face it, our operators are of a certain vintage. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, um, so, you know, they, they do have, um, they do have their challenges, but they also have many gifts that they bring to our organization. Uh, one of our operators has been an operator with us for 35 years. So she brings a wealth of knowledge. Uh, we want to make sure we're providing them the tools that they need to do their job. We needed to simplify our support model. We had four campuses, all kind of had separate procedures for issuing codes. But one of our biggest drivers was implementing a foundation um, for new technology. Uh, we have a patient-centered focus where we have our patient in the center, we have primary care disease prevention uh, surrounding that to keep them out of the hospital, and then we have our full gamut of services uh, if they need more acute care. Around that center, we have common standards, common protocols, common processes, and the glue that binds that together is information technology. We really needed a system that would allow us to leverage our IT infrastructure and our IT investment to really meet the needs of our patients going forward in not only messaging, we're not talking about just code messaging, uh, but really <laughs> providing the full gamut of communication services uh, to help our physicians, to help our staff. So we chose Smart Console 4.5. I believe we were the one of the first uh, first customers on it. I don't want to say we were a beta, but uh, we were pretty close. Um, really, we're very pleased with the implementation. Uh, we one of the nice things about this was our systems were prone to failure. There was no redundancy. Uh, we were able to implement Smart Console. Uh, fully redundant. We have our primary data center, we have our redundant uh, uh, backup data center. We have, not only do we have full redundancy in the data centers, but we also have multiple paths to communications via uh, SNPP as well as a backup TAP uh, network uh, for uh, our paging <coughs> issues. We got some key functionality. Single reliable source for staff information. When we merged as, the four hospitals merged uh, in 1998, we had oh, binders of telephone, post-its, stickies, you know, you know, information in the operator's head. The woman who was there for 35 years, she had a lot of information in her head. She didn't like to share it. Uh, <laughs> um, um, one, of the, one of the nice things about us, uh, 4.5 is the smart alert. Uh, we're talking about life critical paging, life critical messaging, and we need to know if the message failed to be sent. The smart alert gives us that message that a page was failed to be sent so our operators can react and use their backup procedures to get that message to that critical caregiver. Uh, we really find that very beneficial. Um, another nice 
part about uh, 4.5 is the miscellaneous tab. I know this you know, is going to sound a little silly, but the operators really enjoy having this miscellaneous tab for their florist, directions to the airport. Uh, all of that information that's all over the walls of the operator call center, uh, we all we condense that into the miscellaneous tab. Uh, they can get directions to and from the airport. They can have anything they, they need. It gives them the ability to provide that human touch to our patients, their families, our visitors. It really is very important. It gives them the ability to go above and beyond without searching through the, the paper galore that typically is found in an operator call center. So our results. Again, I can't stress enough how simple, fast, and reliable uh, uh, our paging is currently, uh, you know, that we're provided for our mission critical communications. Uh, one of our one of our challenges was also the way we structured our code paging through code groups. Uh, we don't have any in-house pagers. Uh, we use all wide area pagers from USA Mobility. So we had uh, burnt in cap codes and combinations for the different, um, you know, different groups, you know, nursing supervisors needed XYZ group and, you know, we had combinations so if the page ever failed or the pager ever failed, we'd be able to provide um, a backup immediately. Um, the operators have really embraced how easy it is to use a uh, smart console. Uh, they were very resistant. Uh, they, they didn't want to change. They did not, uh, they didn't want to embrace the technology. Uh, I spent an overnight shift with one of our operators. Uh, I had to show her how to use the mouse. She uses, doesn't use the, the, the t uh, console for the uh, telephone. She uses, picks up the phone, transfers it right on the telephone. So our operators had some challenges. She actually embraced it. I spent some time with her, showed her how to use the mouse, showed her how to use the computer, and she actually really enjoys using it. Uh, and she was, she was frankly very afraid of it. She was really afraid that she was going to lose her job because she couldn't uh, use the, the tools that were given to her. One of the uh, other key uh, information or the features that we like about it is it gives us the benchmarking data that we can use for future enhancements. We need to show a return on our investment. Let's face it, capital doesn't, capital doesn't grow on trees. We don't have a money tree in our back parking lot where we can just get capital whenever we need it. We need to show that this is improving our efficiency um, and that it's going to improve patient care and physician satisfaction. Let's face it, for those of us in healthcare, we need to satisfy those doctors. Um, we're hoping that it will support future initiatives like Smart, uh, Smart Web, which is uh, one of the next things we're looking at, uh, on-call scheduling, and, and consolidated call centers. We have four different call centers. We have a union and a non-union environment. It makes it very difficult. Um, you know, some of our operators are union, some of them aren't. Um, it, it does make it challenging, and we're hoping that we can use the data that we gather to really show that it does make the investment and the legal and union issues worth it to really show that we can enhance our service, and, and uh, the benchmarking data is going to be key for us. That's it, that's my story. Uh, it's not any different than, than anyone here who's in the healthcare market. I see a lot of people shaking their heads, yes. Um, so, I'll, any, any questions? Okay, uh, if you have any questions, my contact information is on there and I'll be around all day. I just wanna thank you for the opportunity. Uh, thanks for laughing at my joke. Uh, I appreciate that. And uh, I'll turn it back over to Chris. Or Chris.